Good morning children. Welcome to your GK class. So this video is for class 6 students. So today in your GK class we are doing page number 27. Famous novels. So get start. Get Let's get ready children. So let's start. Famous novels. Page number 27. Read this memorable opening lines from some famous novels. Identify and name them using the help box. So the help box is also provided children. So we will see the details out here in the question. And then we will uh, find out which novel they are talking about. Number one. It was seven o'clock of a very warm evening in the... Sioni Hills when Father Wolf woke up from his day's rest, scratched himself, yawned and spread out his paws one after the other to get rid of the sleepy feeling in their tips. So this is a dialogue which is um, been given in the novel of book is a collection of stories by the English author Rudyard Kipling. Most of the characters are animals such as Sherry Khan the tiger and Baloo the bear through a principal character is the boy or man cub Mowgli who is raised in the jungle by wolves. So this is a famous dialogue which is taken from the famous novel the jungle book i'm sure you must have read the jungle book and there is also a movie after this book the jungle book now let's go to number two children this is the jungle book you can see so let's go to number two children now Number two, it was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief. It was the epoch of incredulity. It was the season of light. It was the season of darkness. So here you see this was a dialogue and this is also this is taken from the famous novel. These are the opening lines of the novel and this is taken from the novel A Tale of Two Cities. Okay, A Tale of Two Cities. So A Tale, a brief uh, detail about uh, a very brief detail about The Tale of Two Cities. It is an 1859 historical novel by Charles Dickens which is set in London mentioned in this novel a tale of two cities okay children so here you can also see the picture of the novel the tale of two cities okay so let's go to number three children mr and mrs dursley of number four private tribe were proud to say that they were perfectly normal thank you very much so these are the first line from the book harry potter and the philosopher's stone this is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. You can see over here the picture. It is in the... This one you can see out here. This is the about Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I will give you a, just a... I will tell you briefly about it. Adaptation of the first of J.K. Rowling's popular children's novel about Harry Potter. And Harry Potter is a story about a boy who learns on his 11th birthday that he is the orphan son of two powerful wizards and possesses unique magical powers of his own. 
he is summoned from his life as an unwanted child to become a student of Hogwarts, an English boarding school for wizards. Here he meets several friends who become his closest allies and help him discover the truth about his In question number three, they are taken from the famous novel Harry Potter and the Philosopher Stone. Okay. So here you see J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Okay. So this is the cover of the novel. So let's go to question number four children. The first place that I can well remember was a large prison shadow with a pond of clear water in it. Some shady trees leaned over it and rushes and water lilies grew at the deep end. So these are the opening lines of the novel named Black Beauty. Okay, so this is taken from uh, the novel black beauty and here there is a horse in this novel so here you will uh, learn briefly just just let me tell you uh, some brief detail about this novel here in this novel a horse never knows who may buy or drive him it is all a matter of chance for us black beauty's mother once told him so actually this is Totally a novel based on a horse. So here the horse says that who who he never knows that who is going to buy him or drive him. So this was told by Black Beauty's mother. And indeed life is a journey of chance for Black Beauty as he passes from one owner to another. Some of whom are kind and thoughtful while others are cruel and different. So this is here you can with this. the novel if you liked the summary of this novel okay so here i'll show you the picture the cover of black beauty the famous the famous novel and it is totally autobiography of a horse and it is written by anna sowell okay children so now we move on to our next one that is number five it is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. So these lines are taken from Pride and Prejudice. So these lines are taken from the famous novel Pride and Prejudice. Now Pride and Prejudice is an actually a romantic novel of manners written in Written by Jane Austen and the novel follows the character development of Elizabeth Bennet, the dynamic protagonist of the book who learns about the repercussions of hasty judgments and comes to appreciate the difference uh, between superficial goodness and actual goodness. Its humor lies in its honest, honest depiction of manners, education, marriage and money during the Regency area in England. Um, so this uh, novel basically is written by uh, Jane Austen and here it is a total focused on the character development of Elizabeth Bennet and she is the lady uh, who who is mostly focused on in this uh, novel and actually you can call this uh, novel a romantic novel because there are But there is also humor in this novel, which is depicting honest depiction of manners, education, marriage and money. Okay, children. So this is Pride and Prejudice. And the I'll show you the cover of this. So this is the cover. This is the cover you can see of the novel Pride and 
prejudice okay children by Jane Austen so now we are coming to the last one children that is question number six and the lines opening lines are my father had a small state in the Nottinghamshire I was the third of five sons he sent me to Emmanuel College in Cambridge at 14 years old where I resided three years and applied myself close to my studies. So these are the opening lines from the novel Gulliver Travels. Okay. Gulliver Travels or Travels into several remote nations of the world in four parts by Lemuel Gulliver, first a surgeon and then a captain of several ships is a 1726 prose satire by the Irish writer and clergyman Jonathan Swift. So this novel was written by Jonathan Swift. Swift satirizing both human nature and the traveler's tales. Literally subgenre, it is a Swift's best known full-length work and a classic of English literature. Swift claimed that he wrote Gulliver Travels to vex the world rather than divert it. So, this is a very common novel, Gulliver uh, Travels, and uh, you must have studied the story of Gulliver also. So, this is, so here is a brief description about uh, wants to see. And here I'll show you the picture of Gulliver Travels. And this is the cover picture of the novel Gulliver Travels written by Jonathan Swift. And here you can see the picture also. And the story revolves around a great man in the land of small lilliputs. And this is uh, the summary actually. How he dwells within the lilliputs. How he survives. How he comes back. So this is about Gulliver's travel so with this we come to the end of uh, this page children page number 27 so we are only doing this much for today children this much for today thank you very much children